Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Good Morning San, An San Antonio at 9 a.m. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. All right, we are joined this morning here at I I the bridge at I-35 and Houston Street by Executive Director and CEO Cody Davenport and President David White, both of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. It is rodeo time. Let's rodeo, San Antonio. I tell you, it's just awesome. It rains the entire day. We love the rain, and we come out here, and the good Lord puts the sun on us. How about that? It's rodeo season. We're ready to go. What's Celebrating 75 years, right? 75 years. Yep. Hard to believe, but we're sitting there representing the 75th year in San Antonio. It's going to be a big year for us. I mean, the rodeo itself is one thing, but the heritage, the history with the cattle, with all the, the livestock, with the horses going down Houston Street like this. Yeah, you bet. I mean, you, you can go back historically, and this is legit. I mean, they really gathered cattle and drove them through town like this and something like that. So it's kind of fun to bring back some of the heritage like that to San Antonio. Uh, it's fitting on a historical you know deal like this for us. So we hope everybody has fun. We know, we know that the downtown is kind of really picking up on it now, and they're embracing it. And a lot of the we have a lot of tourists that come in to see this type of stuff. So. We're having a ball. We want to bring history back. Uh, have, have it have it come back just at least one day. And of course, this benefits the community as well, right? Rodeo season? Yeah, it's rodeo season. That's what we're about. I mean, it's giving back to the community, giving back to the youth of Texas. You know, we, we, we are 255 million given back to date to the youth of Texas. That's why we do all this. Um, the rodeo, everything we do, everything we're about is to bring money back to those kids, bring that next generation up underneath us. I think I think Tom wants to get in the picture. Somebody wants, to, somebody wants to be Tom's, in Tom, Tom's kind of a camera hog. He, uh, you know, he thinks he's a dog sometimes. He's... <laughs> anyway, well, it is just going to be a sight to behold with the folks lining. Like you said, the weather couldn't have been any more perfect. So, And you guys are all ready to open up on Thursday, right? We are ready to open on Thursday. Let's get this thing going. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. And like we say, let's rodeo San Antonio. Sarah? Yeah, Sarah's. <laughs> it's the Sarah Show today. I Good guess. morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. It is going to be a beautiful day after the rain last beautiful night. Beautiful day for all things rodeo. Love seeing Mike and Fiona out there. We're going to be checking in with them and the entire SA Live crew mm -hmm. throughout the morning. We have Jen and we have David Elder. And of course, Texas Eats kicks off at 10 a.m., followed by 11 a.m. We're bringing you that parade live right here on KSAT. Jam packed and also little behind the scenes, should we let folks know? Yeah, okay. We're live on Instagram right now, KSAT's Instagram. I'm do, so oh, we're, we're live on Instagram on our KSAT's Instagram um, streaming as well. We're giving you guys a look behind the scenes. Just trying something new this Saturday morning because it is a beautiful day. What I want to do first is I want to show you a look at the radar because the rains are starting to calm down. In fact, we only have a few passing light rain showers up in northern Bear County at the moment. Uh, these are on their way out and it is going to end up being a sunny and beautiful day. Speaking of the sun, here's a look at the rainbow, double rainbow in fact, uh, sent in through uh, our KSAT Connect feature on our weather app. By the way, uh, this is on the south side of Canyon Lake looking toward Twin Sisters. So there's a few rainbows out there this morning. If you snag a picture of one, post it to KSAT Connect. Here's what we got going on this weekend. Today, 70 degrees for the high. Skies are clearing. It's going to be breezy with a few gusts of up to 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow, Sunday, we're going to be even windier. Winds gusting up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. We have had a lot of rainfall in the overnight hours, so coming up, we're going to take a look at those rainfall amounts, how much rain you got in your neighborhood, and of course, I'll time out those gustier winds for you as well. Coming up in just a few minutes. Sarah. Sarah, thank you. New developments in a story we told you about last week. Finally, there's some good results. So last week we showed you this video on your screen right now. It's difficult to watch a man struggling to get down the stairs with his wheelchair because the elevator at his apartment complex was broken. We're happy to report after our story aired, it was fixed a few days later. Our Garrett Berger went back to those apartments and caught up with neighbors who now have a way to get around again. Do you take a ride just for kicks? Oh yeah, <laughs> two or three. <laughs> just going up and down until they work it. Opportunity Home told us last week that repairs had begun in early January, but one part was delayed and then it was found another was needed as well. They also told us hotel rooms were offered to multiple people, but people wanted 
but no one really wanted to go to those hotel rooms. They wanted to stay put. As for the reason for delay, a spokesman told us in an email, quote, supply chain issues continue to impact our contractors. Ability to get those products, especially for the creation of custom-made control panels, these are not parts that can be purchased at a home improvement store, end quote. It's 906 and 56 degrees. Hey, Spivey, we had some thunder and rain overnight, but skies have opened up for the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. We've been hanging out with some of your favorite KSAT crews all morning. We come back, we'll be checking in with SA Live Jen Tobias Strusky after the break. Beautiful, Sarah. 56 degrees at 906. Some of those clouds starting to part. And like Sarah says, shaping up to be a beautiful day. But hey, tomorrow we're going to have some pretty intense wind. She'll explain that when we come back. Y'all ready to rodeo? <laughs> well, we've been checking. Yeehaw! We've been checking in with the SA Live crew who is out there covering the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. So let's check back in with SA Live Jen Tobias Strusky. Good morning, Jen. How's it looking out there? Good morning. Yes, what a beautiful day and such a great day for a family friendly outing, right? Uh, the whole weekend kicking off here, the Western Heritage weekend and the official start, right, to the rodeo seasons. Chris Derby's back with me out here. So we were talking about the history earlier, but let's also talk about all the volunteers with the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Yeah, we have over 6,000 volunteers. We couldn't do it without their help. We have actually 254 volunteers down here today helping set up the street and get everything ready for this Heritage weekend. People don't realize how much work goes into this, right? It's a lot. There's actually only 34 people that work for the rodeo year round. And without the volunteers, we could not put on this whole entire show. And we, we can't reiterate this a much that, that the, uh, as much, I'm sorry, I can't get my words out, but the scholarship money for the kids and it all goes back to them. Correct. Yeah. Last year we gave away $12.5 million. And since 1984, we've given away 255 million. And again, it cannot happen without all the volunteers assistance. Yeah, so we're having a great time out here today. Now, if you'd like to come down now, there's a lot going on. So we have the Wrangler breakfast going on, and that's at Milan Park. we got the Stampede 5K happening here soon as well. So uh, Chris will be here with Mike and Fiona. We're all excited. It's just a great time. So uh, hopefully people can come out or tune in on KSAT. Send it back to you guys. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Jen. Thank yeah, you, Jen. Great to see. It's great to see the SA Live crew kind of out and about during GMSA. It's yeah, fun to see that. It's fun to have people out and about during GMSA, and it, you know we love the rodeo here at Kesa. And we do. Excited. I will say this. Excuse me. I'm excited to see all the Longhorns out there. Oh yeah, it's going to be great. Now we're down Houston Street. Exactly. Iconic. The thing is, is rodeo in San Antonio is also characterized by crazy weather sometimes, right? Yes. It's it cold. It gets stormy. It gets warm sometimes. Ranch weather. Yeah, ranch <laughs> weather. That's what Sarah <laughs> called it earlier. I was trying to find the connection. I don't know. There. It's all right. Ranch uh, thunderstorms. The, fir the first rule of improv is never say no. So I say <laughs> yes to ranch weather. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these pictures sent in to our KSAT Connect uh, feature on our weather app. Almost an inch and a half of rain out in the Alamo Ranch area. You love to see it. And then this picture sent in by Skywatcher of a beautiful rainbow. There's a few out there this morning as we're still dealing with some very light rain showers in northern Bear County. But the thing is, we are seeing the last of the rain right now, working its way through Leon Springs, Hollywood Park, Timberwood Park, out toward Marion and in Comal County. This is it. The broader picture shows all the storminess out near Houston right now. I want to show you, though, how much rain fell around San Antonio and the Hill Country in the last 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and turn on uh, the 24 hour rainfall totals and you can see just the swaths of yellow here, that's two plus inches of rain. In DeWitt County, up to three to four inches of rain fell in DeWitt County. Now around San Antonio, very healthy rainfall amounts. Let's go ahead and sample some of these areas so you can get an idea. Uh, right around the uh, southeast corner there of 410, two and a half inches of radar estimated rain. Near Seguin, two inches of radar estimated rain. Right at I-10 and 1604, right at the rim area two and a half inches of radar estimated rain. Well, how will this help the drought situation? One thing I want to do here is I want to turn on the drought monitor 
just so that you can see where the rain fell in comparison to the drought monitor. So this is the general area where we've got the most intense drought right now, right in the northern portion of the hill country. Uh, uh, pardon me, the northwestern portion of Bear County into the hill country. As we turn on the 24 hour rainfall totals, you can see that a lot of the half inch to inch of rain fell along that area that is experiencing extreme drought. So it's wonderful to see that decent rain has been falling uh, over the last 24 hours in San Antonio, but all of that rain is headed out of here and we are in, in for a sunny weekend. But with the rain comes the increase of the molds. Molds usually increase after a good rainfall and that is the case today in the pollen count. Molds are high if you're wheezing and sneezing, molds the reason. Mountain cedar is low. That's good news. Mountain cedar season about to come to an end. Now as we take a look at your KSAT 12 hour forecast, mostly sunny by noon and 66. We are going to be breezy today with winds from the west at about 15 miles per hour. Now we'll see a few gusts of up to 30 miles per hour. 70 degrees for the high with chilly conditions this evening. Temperatures falling into the 50s. So remember to bring the jacket for Saturday night plans. As we look around South Central Texas, the highs today are generally going to be in the mid 60s in the Hill Country, Rock Springs and Kerrville, but we are going to be near 70 degrees around San Antonio, Hondo, Gonzalez, upper 70s, Catula, maybe even 81 degrees in Laredo. Yep, it can get that warm in Laredo this time of year for sure. Weather setup shows all of the heavier rain pushing out east toward Houston, all a part of a larger upper level low. Now this is a very dynamic wound up upper level low. So as it moves across northern Texas, it's going to bring with it some very windy conditions. And so today we'll see gusts of up to 30 miles per hour. But tomorrow winds are going to gust up to 40 to 50 miles per hour around San Antonio. So plan accordingly. Lightweight patio furniture that could easily get tossed around by a gust up to about 50 miles per hour. Even your carports, if you have a very lightweight car port, make sure it's firmly planted into the ground. Take a look at the forecast over the next several days. It's going to be nice. Temperatures are going to be chilly in the mornings near 40 degrees, but warming up throughout the day near 60. And you still got some time to send in your KSAC Connect pictures. I'd love to continue to show more of them throughout the morning. Sarah, though, I am happy to see the sunshine on the weekend after some rain. And for the most part, the rain last night was more bark than bite. Loud, but it didn't do much damage, which is great news. Yes, I was worried about hail, but we yeah. really didn't see. I know we saw some nickel sized right. hail, mainly out near Divine and then up in parts of Kendall County, but not really necessarily large hail over San Antonio. We had some pea sized hail, yeah. though, at times. But the cars in the garage. But we are good. Everything's all right. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful day today. Thank you, Sarah. Yep. Okay, it is 917 and 57 degrees. Amazon using AI to help you shop online. We'll tell you about that new feature. And I love this part. Its name, you know how there's like Siri, Alexa? Yeah. You're going to want to hear this name when we come back. Welcome back. The first official Democratic primary is happening in South Carolina today, and Democrats are hoping to diversify early voters. Both President Joe Biden and VP Kamala Harris have visited South Carolina several times. Biden's 2020 primary win in South Carolina was a key moment that year, and during his reelection campaign, he was hoping for the same thing. He swept all um you know, 46 counties there in South Carolina. And it was after some of the early states where he didn't have as much strength. New Hampshire and Nevada will be the next Democratic primary states to vote. Those primaries are happening this Tuesday. And now is the time to make sure you are registered to vote. The Texas primary election in March will be here before we know it. You have until this Monday, February 5th to register to vote and submit an address change for the midterm election. You can check your status or verify your information on the Texas Secretary of State's website. Early voting will begin towards the end of February and election day is March 5th. It's 921 and 57 degrees. Hey, Tesla is recalling nearly all of its vehicles in the US. We'll tell you why after the break.
Well, Tesla is recalling nearly all of its vehicles in the U.S. due to small font sizes on warning lights, which could increase the risk of a crash. The issue was discovered during a routine audit of Tesla vehicles. Tesla says it is not aware of any crashes or injuries caused by the issue. Nearly 2.2 million vehicles are being affected by the recall. And Apple's much-anticipated Vision Pro headset is on sale. Apple says over 600 spatial apps have been built specifically for the $3,500 device. The Vision Pro is also compatible with over a million other apps. And Meta's Vision Request headsets now have spatial video playback. The content can be uploaded directly from any iPhone. However, users will need a Series 15 phone to make videos. Meta says content will be stored on the cloud instead of the headset to save hard drive space. And Amazon has launched a new shopping AI assistant dubbed, I love this name, guys. His name's Rufus. The chatbot can answer virtually any questions about available products. Rufus can also make recommendations about specific products, products and even give, even give gift giving advice. Okay, so we have Siri, which I just alerted all the phones, Alexa, and now Rufus. Welcome, Rufus. It's 926 and 57 degrees. Hey, as we head to break, we're taking an, another live look at the cattle drive. Everyone is in full rodeo mode. This morning, we are looking at a live shot in Market Square. The ladies look like they're getting food ready for us. And we're going to check in with David Sears and David Elder when we come back. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's 930. Saturday. It's February 3rd. It is the Sarah Show this morning. It is. And Sarah, we have a lot to talk about. Not only is it the Western Cattle Parade. Yes. Uh, happen we've been checking in with... Everyone, Mike yeah. and Fiona, Jen, we're going to check, check in with the Davids and Ursula in just a bit. But lots of thunderstorms overnight, and, yeah. but we're good now. Yeah, we're great. So the, the weather happened late last night, as you probably heard. I know I was up early tracking the storms, but they are well out of the area. First, though, let's take a look at some of the pictures sent in through our KSAT Connect feature on our weather app and on KSAT.com. Beautiful image of the lightning from Skywatcher. These storms were more bark than bite. Definitely loud at times with frequent lightning, even some hail up to the sides of nickels at times, but really the benefit was the rain. Up to an inch and a half in some places like out near Alamo Ranch area, and it, of course it led to beautiful rainbows this morning. This one out in the Bernie area, Leon Springs area. As we take a look outside right now, we've got some clouds still lingering, but generally skies are clearing. It's 58 outside with winds from the northwest at about 10 miles per hour. We are going to see those winds pick up today, though. We'll have gusts up to 30 miles per hour with a high near 70. And then tomorrow, even windier, gusts up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. So be prepared for the gusty winds, a high of 68. Coming up in the forecast, I'm going to show you neighborhood rainfall fall amounts and what did the rain do to the pollen count? You'll want to know about that coming up in just a bit. Thank you, Spivey. We've been following SA Live's Jen, Fiona and Mike for the last hour, but now we're switching gears and we're checking in at the Vaquero Cook-Off where we find David Sears and David Elder. The Davids from the Sarahs to the Davids. Oh, look, Ursula Perry, good to see you out there. How's it going out there? You got David busy. Yes, you know, Ursula has me busy out here. Sears has me busy out here, but we're actually Sears is going to work right now. He's actually already rotating some of the sausages that we're going to be giving out mm, here. And they as already samples. smell amazing. They do smell amazing. Hey, hey, hey what's going hey, on? Hey! hey. No, it's a, thank you so much. It is a great vibe out here this morning. You don't even need coffee. You just come out here, the energy, it's exciting, and you're just going to wake up. But I tell you what, when you come out here at around 1030 this morning, we're going to be giving away sausage samples Ooh. from Apple. Co brand meats. Nice. I know. I know. Nice. And so Sears is already cooking, man. He's already getting to work. Yeah. He actually he came up, he was like, hey, where's the sausages at? He wanted I <laughs> he say, wanted a breakfast sample. Yeah, then you made me start cooking them, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm just here for the food. I was yeah. walking up, yeah. I I could smell it as I approached. I was yeah. like, all right, in the right place. We're ready to rock and roll. So this is where the place is, everybody wants to hang after the parade's over yeah. with, right? Well, yeah, during the parade, right before the parade, this is where you want to be at, because you can go watch the parade, and as it goes by where you're at, you can come over here to the Vaquero Cook-Off starting at 11. 
and you guys could walk around, enjoy the space. There's so many vendors. There's so many yeah. booths already set up. Wow. I mean, people have been, it was crazy. You blinked out here, and then all these booths were set up. Everybody has been getting ready this morning, and it's just been a really great, positive vibe. Everybody's so excited for the start of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. I mean, 2024 has just been roaring by. January just flew by. We're already in February, and people are ready to party. It already kind of feels like Fiesta. It does. It does. And I got to say, I've never been here during the Western Heritage Parade. I've been to Market Square many, many times. Right. But this is cool. Yeah. This is this is like a mini fiesta right here. It really is. I feel like the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive has really expanded. We were just talking about that, Sears, into going into... <laughs> He wants you to look at what he's cooking. But it's become more than just the, the parade. It's it's expanding and yes. all these different events that are happening around it. I feel like it is. It's truly a mini fiesta. Sears, how are you doing over there? I'm doing great. I remember when it was just a couple of cows walking down the yeah. street. And, now it's, and before long, it's going to be like a three-day event, which it should be. I mean, we're celebrating Texas for crying out loud. That's right. And you know what's interesting is you and I, David, have been doing this for years and years and years. And this is the first time it wasn't blistering cold. And you felt like you were out on the range with Very the cattle. Nice Very nice day. So come on down. That thunderstorm blew through last night. It's beautiful down here. So if you've never seen this, we talked about this before. If you've never seen this in person, come on down. It's a sight to behold. And a smell. And a smell to behold. <laughs> It's, a, it's just an awesome event. The Volcano Cook-Off is where you want to smell things, I'll tell you that. Yes. Now, yes. it is so fun, you guys. The Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive starts at 11 a.m., so make sure you come on down. The Volcano Cook-Off's going on. But also, a new episode of Texas Eats starts at 10 a.m. right after the news. Nice. I know. So it's a lot of fun things happening this morning. And the sausages, we're going to be giving away free sausages, sausage samples starting at 10.30. We brought a lot. We did. We brought a lot. So we, okay. we have a lot of coolers. We got a lot of stuff. We have tortillas. We have music. We have great vibes. And we are super excited. I will say, though, I love being on the parade route, so it's a little different for me this year. Yeah. But yeah. I'm excited, though, because we won't be getting, like, the, the fear of a longhorn possibly trampling you <laughs> while you're on the parade route is oh, gone. Ah, yeah. They're so well-behaved. <laughs> they are. They're very tame. Very domesticated. But you never know. The horns are still sharp. <laughs> Right? They yes. don't have like corks on the end of no, the No, yeah, you got to put corks on them or something. I don't know. Yeah. But you guys, I, you know, we're, we're getting going over here. And I tell you what, Sarah's over there at the station. You know, I wish you guys could come down here and try some of this. Stuff. Maybe after you dump the newscast, you guys hey. could come down yeah. and get some sausages and some sausage wraps. If we have any leftovers. If we have any. He's here. <laughs> Well, hey, David, taste here. The cooking, David, right? yeah. you gotta David, taste David, it. David, I can Ursula. smell what I'm cooking. Yes, but Thanks. I'm not tasting it yet. We're, we'll get there. Y'all are having too much fun. Thank you, guys. We'll check in with you in just a bit. Switching gears, your morning headlines. We're learning more about a man suspected of mass murder in Julia, Illinois, before taking his own life at a gas station in Talia. 23-year-old Romeo Nance is accused of killing eight people. This handgun that you see here was the weapon he used to commit at least to one of the murders in Juliet. That's according to the Will County Sheriff's Office. We're also told this is a weapon Nance used to take his own life after that run-in with law enforcement in Natalia. When we first brought you this story when it happened on January 22nd. This is video from our cameras of that scene playing out earlier this week. Will County detectives arrived in Texas and seized the red Toyota Camry Nance used while he was fleeing Illinois. They say they've been able to recover more evidence from inside that car that will help them in their investigation. And many may not realize San Antonio's Spanish missions were the foundation of the city's first neighborhoods in a new untold to honor their devotion to the indigenous people who lived in those missions, the San Antonio Peace Center at Northwest Vista College named Ramon Vasquez and his late father, Ramon Vasquez y Sanchez, Peace Laureates. Jesse de Goyado says Vasquez continues to share the little known history of San Antonio's first people. of San Antonio's Spanish missions is often revered and admired. But the people that built these missions, that lived in these missions, loved in these missions, died in these missions, they're the ones that created the foundation of the South Side. And this is where the beginnings and the roots of this city lay. One of their descendants, Ramon Vasquez, says it wasn't until his organization began making more people aware of their history. You would hear the history of San Antonio and you think that when the Spanish got here, they were greeted by mariachis. Yeah. 
not hardly. Vasquez says the missions were built for specific Native American tribes, making them and their descendants the first peoples of San Antonio. This is where our house was. Brenda Pacheco's family, dating back 300 years, lived just beyond the walls around Mission San Jose. She remembers as a child looking out her window. I could see the sunset on that bell tower. And you don't realize how precious that is. To make way for parking and a visitor center for tourists, Pachecos and the other legacy families were bought out and their homes demolished. That was the end of the neighborhood. They completely erased us. Eventually, the descendants of legacy families moved elsewhere in the city, like those of Mickey Killian, who grew up at Mission San Juan. His tribal roots include the Borrados, known for their distinctive tattoos knowing that Native Americans like them were here thousands of years. It means that, uh, that I'm a part of this land. It's a sense of pride, you know, of knowing that our roots run deep. They run very deep. Jesse De Goyado, KSAT 12 News. Of course, Jesse telling the most beautiful story. It's 938 and 58 degrees, taking a live look outside after all the thunderstorms that we had last night. I've been calling it ranch weather. That was some ranch weather just in time for the Western Heritage and Cattle Drive Parade happening today. And when we come back, of course, we're going to check in again with those giving you guys a preview. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How I did you sleep last night with the rain? I know. I tossed and turned. Yeah. Um, the lightning, the thunder was really loud. Mm -hmm. My my baby Scooby and sister, they don't like the thunder and lightning, so they slept real close to me, oh. but we really need this rain, Sarah. We do. we got to stock up before the dry months right. of the summer, so I'm not complaining. And again, the storms mainly yesterday were more bark than bite. They made a lot of noise, but thankfully we didn't have too many reports of damage out there. So that's some good news. As we take a look at clouds and temperatures, you can see very clearly that the main area of storms has moved on out toward Houston. We're still dealing with some clouds here and there around San Antonio, but generally skies are clearing. It's in the 50s, 54 in Kerrville, 59 in New Braunfels, 52 in Del Rio, 54 in Holotus, 58 at Port S.A., 61 in Seguin, and 57 in Hondo. Now, we do still have some very light sprinkles in northern Bear County out toward New Braunfels and Seguin right now, but that's it. The rest of us are enjoying a period of time here where it's going to be nice and sunny over the weekend. So how much rain did we pick up and how does that help the drought? Take a look at the drought monitor and you can see that the main bullseye of extreme drought, which is out in the hill country, generally folks got anywhere from a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain out in those areas. So that is good news. More good news is that higher rainfall amounts fell closer to the San Antonio metro area. The airport clocked in 85 hundredths of an inch of rainfall near Selma almost an inch a half inch New Braunfels an inch and a quarter out near La Quintera an inch and a half for Alma Ranch an inch and a corner Rio Medina and nearly two inches of rain Bronig Lake and two inches near Adkins of rainfall an inch and a half for Floresville out toward Laughlin Air Force Base closer to Del Rio a lot less rainfall out there less than half an inch of rain still though I do anticipate some improvement on the drought monitor when the the next drought monitor comes out on Thursday morning, so stay tuned for that. The rain, however, has increased the molds. Molds are high past 5,000 today. Mountain cedar is coming down. Mountain cedar is low, and cedar season usually ends within the next couple of weeks. So we'll say goodbye to mountain cedar. And then beyond mountain cedar season is oak season, so we got to prepare for that. As we take a look at your KSAT 12 hour forecast, we're going to be at 62 degrees here in just the next few minutes. Then by noon, 66, skies will be clearing in the afternoon. It'll be sunny and 70 degrees for the high. We're going to have temperatures cool down quickly tonight after sunset into the mid 50s by 9 p.m. So you'll need a light jacket later on this evening. 68 in Holotus, it'll be 69 in Utopia, 66 in Kerrville, 73 in Floresville, 73 in Nixon Smiley, 69 in Canyon Lake, and 
in Bulverde. Then our attention turns to the winds. So today's going to be a beautiful day, but you will experience the winds picking up this afternoon. Winds will gust up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. Higher gusts out west toward Del Rio and Eagle Pass, where the fire danger is a lot higher out west because they've had less rain. And as we look toward tomorrow, tonight rather, winds are going to calm, but it's tomorrow that our winds are really going to pick up. Take a look at wind gusts right around 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Winds will be gusting from the northwest up to 45 to 50 miles per hour. That's strong enough to knock around lightweight patio furniture, so take that into consideration. We'll still see gusty winds through the early afternoon. Then by the evening tomorrow, still breezy with gusts up to 30 miles per hour, but not as bad as in the morning when we'll have pretty gusty wind conditions. Thank goodness we got the rain last night because look at the forecast over the next several days. It is going to be dry through the forecast. So again, any little bit of rain we get is good because not only are we in drought, but we know how the summers fare for us, usually dry and hot. So it's nice. We'll have cool mornings and comfortable afternoons. Cannot complain about the rain. No, we can't. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. All right, 946 and 56 degrees. We'll be right back and we're going to check in with David Sears and David Elder. Taking a look outside the roads with Trans Guide. Oh, not that one. <laughs> that one's frozen there at 410 and Perrin Vital. But hey, if any incidents pop up, we'll let you know about them. We'll be right back. With the lotto, actually. With the lotto. Pick 3640, <laughs> Fireball 6, Daily 4, 0036, Fireball 9. Cash 5, 711, 17, 1935. Mega Millions, 1122, 42, 64, 69. Mega Ball 18, and Mega Player 3. Good luck. Hey, real quick, I wanted to say happy birthday to my Tia Cande on your screen right there. She is camera shy, but I know she's watching right now. It was her birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Tia Cande. Also a very special lady turning 92 today. This is my grandmother, Elva Costa, who we call Nana. She is not camera shy, kind of like me, and is small yet mighty with a lot of spunk. Also like me, runs in the family. Happy birthday, Nana and Tia Cande. I love you very much. And we're gonna all celebrate my Nana turning 92 later today. Okay, so we've been having a lot of fun this morning, getting some behind the scenes look at this as the city prepares for the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. So now we're gonna check in with David Elder and David Sears again, down at Market Square and Ursula Perry. We got David Sears on the grill, cooking sausages and flipping the tortillas. Good morning, guys. Get off of there, baby. Keep them moving. Good morning. Yes, Sears is doing a great job. We're sizzling with Sears. That's actually his new show. We're going to be pitching here in a little bit. And you know what? He hasn't burned anything, so he's doing a great Look job. That. Look at that. Look, Look at that. that. <laughs> That's going to sound good in your tummy. Yeah, that's yeah. You got your jalapeno on there. You've been roasting it. You're gonna cut it right now. What's your game plan? Cut the jalapeno in half, and then yeah. I'm gonna split it because I don't need a whole lot of. I got to go get on a wagon with a bunch of people, so I don't, you know. Yeah. Gotta Did be you bring careful. Pepto? <laughs> no, I trust your cooking. All right, so you're gonna be cutting into that jalapeno right now. This is why Sears. You know what, Sears? Just eat it. You go for just it. Take just take a just bite. Take a bite. Yeah, Come put it on, on there. Man. There you go. Sausage on there. Here we go. It's uh, there you go. All right, Sears, go for the bite. Oh! Oh, we got the thumbs up. All, All right, right, Sears, you enjoy yourself. Don't forget, at 1030, we're going to be starting samples out here. Sausage samples from APCO Brand Meats. But Ursula, you got to walk around the event. You yeah. did some shopping. Yeah. You got to check out some of the vendors out here, right? What a great event. There's a whole lot of people out here. Some are selling merchandise. Look at this stuff I already picked up. How's that for a cool rodeo bag? Um, I also found these uh, these little croc inserts, croc charms. There's one of me. No, that's actually Selena. Um, something good for the rodeo. And look at this one I found. It's David Elder. He's got his own croc charm. It looks very similar. Look. Yeah, look. Oh, I was like a straight. Is it like a? Is it a smiling? No. It's no. Ex bad bad bunny trying to do a David Elder. 
<laughs> but it, you know, one of the cool things about here that I did not realize, they're having the Vaquero cook-off challenge happening at Market Square, but over on this side, it's the Junior Vaquero cookout. And we've got people from Corn City, students from Somerset, MacArthur, uh, all of them are going to be competing for prizes and scholarship monies. They are making things like fideo and steak sandwiches, steak tortas. Which one's uh, the one that you're excited for? I want to try the fideo. Uh, and they're also making some really nice bean recipes down Ooh, like there. Charo beans? Charo beans. Let's exactly. go. Yeah, this is super exciting. I mean, this event has evolved and evolved, and I'm so glad that it has just expanded to now, like you said, Corn City. Like, we're getting all these different schools and these different programs. Mm -hmm. We've and, got you know, Johnson City yeah. here, Corn City, Somerset, MacArthur. Uh, we also uh, have... Um, a, a number of, of adults who are also competing, we need yeah. to mention as well. So these guys are learning in the culinary programs in their high schools, and then they're going to move on and become pros. Just like David Sears back yeah. here. Look at him. He's still going. He's going for another bite back here. I notice his eyes are a little, getting a little red. That was a bite, man. <laughs> that jalapeno, he actually went in for it. It was awesome. <laughs> I'm going to turn down your flame, Sears, so that way we're not sizzling too much with Sears over here. But man, the event happening over here to the right side as you get near the market area, it is awesome. There's all, That's where more of the competition is happening. But on this side with the students, I mean, it's so fun. You come down, you could bring the whole family. You could come out now, but the Vaquero Cook-Off Challenge starts at 11 a.m., right when the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive starts. A new episode of Texas Eats, of course, at 10 a.m. So take your time, enjoy yourself, get down here, find a good parking spot, and get ready for probably, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it, the best Saturday of the year so far. That's right. And, you know, come empty-handed. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Don't have a big purse or anything like that because there are a lot of giveaways happening here. Like, we're going to be giving away sausages here in a moment, but all of these different vendors are going to be giving away samples of what they have made today, yeah. and, including some of, some of the companies are out here representing themselves as well. So... You could, you could you could get a lot of stuff, is all I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. Not no, there's caring. a lot of stuff to do out here, you guys. And we're ready to have some fun. But we're going to send it back Wait, to the I have, studio. I have a because question I, I for David Sears. Sears. I have speechless. a question. Oh. David Sears, Never are you happened. okay? Question for Sears. Are you okay, are David? Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I am so good right now. You look it's like you were sweating a little bit after that. I'm going to be your mom. Don't you have look at it. it was questionable for a second. <laughs> that was good. That jalapeno was nice. <laughs> It was not a hot one. Not, it was not nice the end, and mellow. Not that end of it I, I, I had to give him a second. I was like, I'm going to walk over here and let him process <laughs> that bite real quick. Yeah, man, that's good stuff. Good so man. come on down. Look Thanks. at him. Look at all those sausages. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Gotta I, love I, it. You know, I could tell he was... I, I wouldn't be able to do that. You know, but good for David. That looked like a good time down there. We're going to check in one more time with them and hear from Sarah on our yeah. final forecast when we come back.